In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up PlayStation ROMs to launch from ROM Collection Browser. Uh, I will show you the configurations at my PlayStation emulator and the emulator I use. I will not show you how to download that emulator nor the ROMs. Uh, some simple Google searches will uncover all of that for you. But I do have it set up currently. I'm actually going to delete this setup. And you can see there are videos here too, so I will show you how to get the videos. That's an additional step. The actual artwork for these, as well as the little information, that blurb of information about the game, that gets pulled from databases within the first crawl, and you'll have to get the videos separately. So again, I am going to delete this ROM collection currently. and I have PlayStation selected there so I'm just going to delete that now the emulator I use and everything I just have on my desktop I recommend you don't keep it on your desktop but this is just for demonstration purposes I use EPSXE again this is a PlayStation 1 emulator you can see the file here when you download this emulator you're going to have a folder for it and all of these folders within that what you need to grab is within this BIOS file you need to grab this SCPH 1001 so that's going to be the BIOS file you need once you have that BIOS file you're going to place it there uh, another plugin I use is in fact I'll show you within the emulator so you can see exactly what this looks like so I'm going to launch my emulator and I should note if you use TeamViewer or anything, if when you launch your ROMs there's some crashing, make sure everything is quit on your computer. TeamViewer, there's some conflicts with uh, different programs. So when you go to com config, so your configuration within your PlayStation EPS XE emulator, I'm going to go config, BIOS, and mine's selected, but go ahead and navigate to your SCPH 1001. Click OK. I'm going to click cancel. You also want to do your video options. So it's Pete's DX6 D3D driver 1.77. Sounds like a bunch of gibberish, but that's what works for me. I'm sure there's multiple ways to skin a cat in this setup here. Uh, memory cards doesn't matter. You uh, you can get a plug-in for your gamepad, but you can also play this with a keyboard, so I'm not going to go into the details on that. But really, this is about getting it to launch from ROM Collection Browser. The key here is if your ROM will not run from within EPSXE the way I'm showing you now. So let me do this step again. Go to File, Run ISO, and then select a ROM file, which is a .bin file for PS1. And I'm just going to do Bloody Roar. And I'm sure everything blacked out for you. I don't think the screen capture captures this, but the PlayStation ROM did load, so I'm going to hit Escape. Again, if your machine crashes right there, start closing programs running in the background in your task manager. But that worked for me, so I know I'm good to go. What I also have here is an artwork folder I've already created. I'm going to keep my gameplay videos. The reason you saw videos there, I've actually manually pulled these videos. These don't get scraped for you. And you can see they're just MP4 files that are named the exact same names as my ROM files. That's the key there. So Bloody Roar, that's the exact same file name as that particular ROM. Very important. I'm going to delete all of this other information and not the gameplay videos because again that won't be scraped. But all this other information will be scraped when I go back and I re-add the PlayStation emulator to ROM Collection Browser. So what I have here is a working PlayStation emulator which is EPSXE. I have my ROMs already downloaded. I've tested that they worked and I'm ready to jump back into Kodi here and set up ROM Collection Browser with a new ROM or with a new emulator. Let me go back into ROM Collection Browser and this particular computer has a little bit of a lag to it. It's not the quickest. No config file found. You do want to create one. This is my first ROM on here. Otherwise you'll want to go to Add New ROM Collection. So scrape game info and artwork online, you do want that. The only info I have locally is those videos, so I need to do a change for that later. In this alphabet quarter, we're just going to find PlayStation for EPSXE. Alright, you need to have your drive mapped within your file manager. 
So there is some setup here. I'm not going to tell you how to turn on your computer. This is going to be on my desktop. Again, wherever your file is, navigate. So right now it says path to PlayStation emulator. Just navigate to your PlayStation emulator. Mine is on my desktop and it is PlayStation. As you can see, my desktop is quite cluttered. I'm looking for epsxe.exe. So that's my actual emulator. So hit enter there and my emulator parameters I actually need to modify these so it's not just going to be what's default there go ahead and in fact I'm just going to delete that and type it I'm going to re-add that but I need to add hyphen no GUI which is no graphic user interface space hyphen load ISO now if you have issues with load ISO if this doesn't work for you you'll want to do load bin load ISO works for me space and then we're going to retype what was in there before so if you would have clicked up there you could just leave it but just ROM quotation percent sign ROM percent sign quotation and that's going to be our emulator parameters so from here we're just going to click on done now we need to go to our ROMs which is in that same folder so I'm going to navigate back to my desktop probably do it a little quicker this time now that I've oriented myself but potentially not because there's so much clutter alright so PlayStation and my PlayStation ROMs I have them all in one folder you don't want to go into an individual folder this is the one with all the folders this is what you want scraped from here I just go to OK this is where you need to type your file mask so go ahead and put your wildcard which is going to be your asterisk dot ISO the first one comma asterisk dot bin Bin's the most important. All my ROMs are actually bin. I don't think they all are period, but all mine are. So comma, asterisk, dot C-U-E, so dot Q. Those are your ROM parameters. And now we're just going to go to done. And PlayStation artwork. I had created a folder for this. If you just select your PlayStation folder, it'll lump all those different folders in there. It gets a little bit cluttered. So I would recommend having a PlayStation artwork folder as I had shown you earlier was created and all I have in there now is that folder for gameplay so it's going to create those other folders you saw that I just deleted alongside gameplay in this next process so I click OK there I don't want to add another one at this time so no and the scrapers you can leave these default the games database looks great I'm just going to select PlayStation if you have multiple ROMs or ROM collections you will want to narrow it down to the one you're doing or else it takes forever and it's going to take a long time anyways I'm actually going to edit this video I do automatic accurate you can do if you want to sit here and watch it load you can do interactive select matches but as you saw this was already set up so I know the file names are good so I'm going to do automatic accurate I'm going to leave the scrapers the same import games and it says 100% but that's not the case so I'm going to edit this and check back with you after these games are imported and I'm back so that took a long time I'd like to say I'm not super impatient but it really took a long time so uh, practice patience there but what you will see that it imported is from the ROMs that I do have it grabbed the cover arm front back it grabbed the information of it there and as you can see here it has everything that I showed you earlier outside of the videos also these games will launch I'll launch one right now I don't have it in solo mode so it launches on top of Cody and I think this displays well so I'm just gonna exit out of it but the games do work it does launch what it doesn't do is play the videos now to play the videos again I have the local files on my machine and they are in the same artwork folder and this is where all that artwork populated so again I deleted everything but this gameplay but these gameplay videos is what I'm going to add now so the everything works if you don't want videos then you can stop now but if you want videos you can either grab them off of YouTube and save them to your machine just grab a 30 second snippet whatever you want and save it as the exact ROM name so bloody roar or actually we'll do crash bandicoot it looks like this has a space in it yeah so crash bandicoot with a space and then if I go to my PlayStation ROMs here, I'm 
you can see that my file is Crash Bandicoot. Everything is Crash Bandicoot with a space. That's how the program knows to find it. So you would have to name your video file that. What I recommend doing is Emu Movies. And they have low res files for free. Otherwise, you have to pay. I did the $20 for a single month. And let me enlarge this. But Emu Movies is great. They have an FTP program. They have a desktop platform for Windows machines, possibly Mac, but for Windows machines for sure, it just works fantastically. But I would recommend doing that. That's what I use to get all of my movie files, which I have currently on this local machine that resides right with all the files that were pulled automatically during that excruciatingly long session that we just sat through. I'm going to hop back into Kodi and show you how to get that. So here is my ROM collection browser. You can hit C on your machine or right click. You want to bring up your info menu, edit ROM collection. You're going to go to import game data. Now under media type, if you scroll through, you're going to see everything that it did pull down. What you're not going to see is gameplay. So you need to go to add media path and go down to gameplay. Click on that. And here all I'm doing is scrolling back to my desktop. And this is where my local files are stored. So you need the videos already. The, there's no scraper that will pull videos. It just doesn't work like that. You're going to need the videos in a folder. And that's the folder that you point to. So what I'm doing is that PlayStation artwork. This is my gameplay. You can name this whatever. But that's where my videos are. And from here I hit OK and they're named the game files so you want to leave this default if they're not named the game file you can customize this but I totally recommend naming them the exact game file if you pull them through the eMovie movies as I shown then it will automatically match them up to your game files or it won't find it altogether and you'll have to dig for it so I need to save config you can pull this individually so say I wanted to do Crash Bandicoot I could hit C on there and I could do rescrape selection and it will find that video and it'll start playing the video. If you want to do them all, I'd go ahead recommending uh, this is the Confluence theme and I don't think it matters which theme going all the way to your left so you have your filter here and then on PlayStation hit C and just go ahead and do reselect or rescrape selection. Make sure that uh, you have scrapers for this run. Click on that. You want to do local NFO because we do not want to sit through all that again and you will have to or if you import library it will import the videos but it's going to rescrape those databases it's going to take forever so chain scrapers for this from run and local NFO I recommend putting in all local NFO import games again that 100% there is a little bit of a tease but now it's going to go much quicker and it's done so you can see it loading boom it took my game uh, we'll look at crash team racing so bottom line it works if I click on it here it's gonna load up again if you don't want to do that extra step you don't necessarily have to having the box front that shows there by default looks pretty stunning too I personally like the videos I ate the twenty dollars with Emmy movies you don't have to do that you can grab these from YouTube if you have a smaller collection I have a large collection on a different machine and this is the way I did it. But that's how you get it done. Give me a holler if you have any questions. Thanks.